The 1960s were a time of public revolt and political action, and two personalities stood out above the crowd and made their voices heard, Marsha P. Johnson and Sylvia Rivera. Johnson and Rivera's activism grew out of their personal fight to survive without shelter, food, and to be themselves without fear of persecution. Beating up gays was a national sport. Selflessly, they also supported those equally less fortunate, homeless LGBT youth, people of colour, and members of the drag, trans, and sex worker communities, who were often victims of violence and ostracised by mainstream gay activists. The drag queen is something we've been stuck with. Johnson and Rivera were central in changing societal attitudes and discriminatory legislation. Street queens who barely had enough to feed themselves, but they started Star as a way to take care of their sisters. And are renowned for their role in the uprising at the Stonewall Inn on June 28, 1969, and the rise of the gay liberation movement which followed. Street people and the drag queens were the vanguard of the movement. Originally from New Jersey, Marsha P. Johnson moved to Greenwich Village in the late 60s, where she lived a gender non-conforming lifestyle, was a drag performer, living as a mostly homeless sex worker and suffering with mental illness. After initial pride marches, organisers banned Johnson from subsequent events because her activism for trans people was considered too confrontational. Darling, I want my gay rights now! From 1987 up until her death, Johnson's activism shifted focus to the AIDS crisis as a central member and marshal for ACT UP. Johnson died July 6, 1992, her body found floating in the Hudson River just days after New York Pride, with many suspecting murder, though her death remains unsolved. Paid the price for who she was. Abandoned and then orphaned as a child, Sylvia Rivera fought hard all her life and self-identified as a drag queen, long before today's definitions existed. She faced extreme hardship, living on the streets as a sex worker from age 11 and suffering a lifetime of substance abuse, but the fire inside her was intense, driving her on in the fight for rights. A regular patron of the Stonewall Inn, she was there to celebrate Johnson's birthday the night of the now famous raid. Rivera was both loved and loathed by activist organisations and was often sidelined by middle class gays as her approach was considered too controversial. Revolution now! Sylvia's place, an emergency shelter for young LGBT people, opened just after her death in 2002. Together, Johnson and Rivera fought for the New York City Transgender Rights Bill and the Sexual Orientation Non-Discrimination Act, securing protections for LGBT people. But being excluded themselves as their drag and transvestite identities were considered too extreme for mainstream politics. You get to have your marriage equality. You came from trans women of colour. Today, the Sylvia Rivera Law Project carries on their selfless fight for freedom of gender expression. In 2019, New York City commissioned statues of the pair in honour of their contribution and self-sacrifice.